Okay, today we want to look at finding percents, the percent of a quantity. This is when the questions are similar to what is 45% of 80 or what is 25% of 40. There are a couple different uh, percent questions and this one uh, we're going to focus on the questions that look like this. When we are asking what is the percent of another number to find the actual percent. Okay, a couple things that we need to know first are what percents mean. Percent actually literally means out of 100. Okay. So as we remember, percent means out of 100. We can easily transfer that to decimal form. 45 out of 100 is 45 hundredths and that looks like this. Decimal point 45 because hundredths always have two digits after the decimal as a rule. So as we have 0.45, that's our decimal equivalent for percent of, in this instance, when we're talking about a portion of something, most of the time we can multiply, actually. So this of means multiplication, 80. So when we are looking at 45% of 80, 0.45 as a decimal, 45 hundredths, times 80 will get us that answer. So we just go ahead and do the regular algorithm here for multiplication. We know that that's all going to be zeros. We automatically put that zero down there and start multiplying. 8 times 5 is 40. 8 times 4 is 32 plus 4 is 36. Okay, so that equals 3600. Now when we are multiplying decimals, we need to remember however many digits are after the decimal in the problem, same amount in the answer. So two digits after the decimal in the problem, two digits after the decimal in the answer. So we get 36.00 or just 36. So 45% of 80 equals 36. This is a way that will always work. Okay, multiplying with the decimals. Converting percent, knowing it's out of 100 to a decimal, 0.45, multiplying that and that will get us the answer. Now the other way to do it is understanding some percent equi sorry, not percent equivalents, percent and fraction equivalents. That works. Okay, so 25% of 40, same rules apply here, 25 hundredths, but I know something about 25%. That simplifies to a very convenient fraction in this case of one fourth. Okay, 25 hundredths, yes, simplifies down to one fourth. So as we have one fourth of, still represents, times 40, I can multiply this as fractions. 40, 40 holes, any number in the world divided by one equals itself. So that's how we can make this into a fraction, simply divide it by one. Because it doesn't change the fact that that still equals 40. So we have multiplying fractions. How do you multiply fractions? Multiply straight across. So numerator times numerator, 1 times 40 equals 40. 4 times 1 equals 4. And we have 40 fourths, 40 divided, excuse me, by 4 equals 10 holes. Okay. I could also go about doing 20, 0.25 times 40. Let's actually do that. 0.25 times 40. I know that's all going to be zeros. Put the zero down there. 4 times 5 is 20. 4 times 2 is 8. Plus 2 is 10. Two digits after the decimal in the answer. Or in the problem, two digits after the decimal in the answer equals 10. So that is how you can find the percent of a quantity when we are looking for the percent, such as a percent of a number.